It was a typical autumn evening, the sky was dark, and the leaves were falling from the trees. The streets were empty, and the only sound was the howling wind. For most people, it was just another night, but for 17-year-old Michael, it was the night of the full moon. Michael had been a werewolf for as long as he could remember. He had inherited the curse from his father, who had died when Michael was still a child. Growing up, Michael had struggled to control his transformations, often waking up in strange places with no memory of how he got there. As he got older, Michael learned to control his transformations, but he still struggled with the loneliness that came with being a werewolf. He had no one to talk to about his condition, and he often felt like he was the only one of his kind. On this particular night, Michael had decided to embrace his werewolf side and roam the streets in his true form. He had been cooped up in his house for too long, and he needed to stretch his legs. As he ran through the streets, Michael felt alive and free. He reveled in the sensation of the wind in his fur, the taste of the air, and the sound of his paws hitting the pavement. He felt like he was truly himself for the first time in his life. But his freedom was short-lived. As he ran through the city, Michael stumbled upon a group of hunters, armed with silver bullets and holy water. They had been tracking him for weeks, and they were determined to put an end to his curse. Michael tried to outrun the hunters, but they were too fast. They cornered him in an alley, and he had no choice but to fight. He was outnumbered and outgunned, but he had one advantage, his werewolf strength. The fight was brutal, and Michael was injured, but he managed to overpower the hunters and escape. He ran back to his house, bleeding and exhausted, but he knew that the hunters would not stop until they had captured him. He knew that he couldn't stay in the city any longer, he needed to leave and find a place where he could be safe. He packed a bag and set out on a journey to find a place where he could live as a werewolf without fear of persecution. For weeks, Michael traveled through the wilderness, using his werewolf senses to avoid detection. He slept in caves and hunted for food. He was alone, but he was free. As he traveled, Michael discovered that there were other werewolves like him. They were scattered throughout the world, living in secret, hiding from the hunters. Michael was not alone after all. He spent years traveling and meeting other werewolves, learning about their culture and history. He found a community of people who accepted him for who he was, and he finally felt like he belonged. But Michael's journey was not over yet. He knew that the hunters were still out there, and he was determined to put an end to their persecution. He gathered other werewolves and together they fought against the hunters, using their strength and cunning to outweep them. The war was long and bloody, but in the end, the werewolves emerged victorious. The hunters were defeated, and the werewolves were finally free to live in peace. Michael finally found a place where he could be himself, where he could live as a werewolf without fear of persecution. He had found a home, and he knew that he would always be a part of the werewolf community. Michael's story is a tale of survival, of one teenager.